everyone how you doing today i'm back with another video and today's video we have a lenovo laptop this one is a lenovo ideapad 3 the specific model for this one is a 14 itl6 and in today's video i'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can repaste clean up the whole internal of this laptop if yours is running a little bit hot and you just want to clean it up this video is for you all right first thing first you want to power off the laptop and then you want to flip it upside down and I'm going to go over the tools that we're going to be using. Tool number one is a workshop towel. I will recommend you, you guys have one sheet of the workshop towel. And you will need an opening tool and a screwdriver set. For the screwdriver set, we're going to be using an iFix screwdriver set. And these bits are really good. If the S2 class is steel, that means they will last you many years. If you get the Pro set, they will include you an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a in guitar pick and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. You need a thermal paste. A good thermal paste is really an important thing that you have. An Arctic MX4 or Cryer nut you can have, like a thermal grizzly Cryer nut, but these ones are really good. And you need a tweezer, a really curved pointy tweezers. And with all this on hand, we're gonna get it started. And I almost forgot an isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol 95% plus. It's really important. With all this on hand, let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, at the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and start from one corner and remove all of them and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys to do your own repaste, cleaning or upgrades, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, once we remove the screws, now we're going to grab the opening tool. And we're going to stick stuff from one corner. We're going to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest. And we're going to twist it backward. And you want to hear a click sounds. Those are the clips that are getting loose. You're going to do that all the way in the front end to the corner and side to side. The back end, you don't need to, but if you want, you can stick it right in there and do it too. But as long as you do the front and side, you can grab it from front side, bring it up, wiggle it around. It will release the back end really softly. So there's the bottom chassis. You can grab a toothbrush and clean up the bottom. And right away, you can see the heat sink, the fan, everything right in here. First thing first, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the battery. We're going to grab this cable and we're going to pull the jack backward towards the uh, right side and you're gonna disconnect it right away and lift it up. And the fan is being held down by three screws, one, two, three, but not necessarily you need to remove the fan. I'll show you why. First, we're gonna remove the heat sink by removing four screws on the heat sink. The screws have a little C-lock on them. The C-lock prevents the screw from coming out entirely. So just pretty much rotate them and Grab it from the corner, don't grab it from here, from here, nearest to the CPU, and lift it up. And there you have the thermal paste on the dice. Now you can grab a toothbrush and go ahead outside, blow some compressed air, dry compressed air through the fins and clean it up. And with the same toothbrush, you can clean up the fins, hold it down, gently clean it up, and remove any dust particle in there, and blow some air through here and remove it. So you don't have to remove the fan. To remove the fan, one, two, three screws, and you have to untangle this cable zigzagging around the fan but i don't see the point to remove it and to remove the thermal paste all you need to do is grab a little workshop towel apply the enough alcohol on it and we're gonna rub over the cpu to clean up the excess of the thermal paste bend it with a dry part we're gonna do a last pass Make sure it's a nice and shiny, there is no dust particle, anything on top. Same thing in here. Clean it up nicely. And once we finish with that, we're just gonna grab our thermal paste. We're gonna put one big drop on the main die and one small tiny line on the big drop on the secondary. All right. And the uh, Next step down here is to grab the heat sink, put the back end down and bring it, make sure the screw holes aligned, bring it down. Once you put it down, do not lift it up. Again, just you want to screw them cross each other, do an X pattern. So put one screw right there and the second one cross it. 
across that one and then this one right away here they have a little number on them you can do one two three four or as long as you do cross you're fine all right once you did this make sure you tighten up the screws not too tight make sure you don't need to use lots of force put it in there if you have removed the fan put the fan in clean it up and one last step down in here will be to just grab the connector for the battery put it all the way in snuggle the cables right there grab the bottom cover bring it over align it squeeze the corners the back side and that should be all down there and the last step it will be to just grab the bottom screws put them right on top i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if it did please click the like and subscribe to support the channel if you have any question or request feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.